Hi everyone, I'm Wilsonator, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. That's right, we're back with Phil McTree, and uh, we are actually still in Good Springs, which last episode we defended against these suckers, the Powder Gangers, who did come to attack Good Springs, but we, uh, we fucked them up, and they're all dead. Uh, so is the dog, unfortunately. Cheyenne is also dead. Um, I'm actually going to go speak to Sunny Smiles, because I think she's going to be kind of upset that her dog is actually dead. Um, I think she just walked back in the saloon, though. Uh, so I'm going to go speak to her, and then we'll, we'll see what we need to do next, basically. Uh, we have defended the town, but uh, we'll probably get a reward for it, you know, if we go and talk to, like, Trudy or whatever. Even though she didn't want to help, she'll probably be like, Oh, you did it! I never believed you could do it, but you did it. Oh, yeah. There's Sunny Smiles. That'll teach the Powder Gangs to avoid good springs in the future. Until next time. Because she really doesn't seem to care that her dog is actually dead as fuck. What about you, Trudy? You got anything for me? I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Yeah, it's really quiet now. Uh, so you got nothing, nothing to tell me. Okay, well. Be careful out there. I get so I get no reward for this bullshit. Oh, this guy he's got a gun on him. Look. Hang on. I need a reward of some kind. Hold on. Sorry, but we need to do something here. All right, Trudy. Hey. Hey, hey, Trudy. How's it going? Sorry, don't mind me. I'm just gonna put this on your head so you can't see me. Fuck. Okay, maybe that's not gonna work. <laughs> uh, you can do that in like Fallout 4 and like Skyrim, but I don't know if you can actually. Wait, I'm hidden. Ooh. I think I got caught. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Shit! Wait, did I actually get it? I I only have eleven. I couldn't steal his gun for some reason. What is our quest? I mean, we've got some infamy with Good uh, Good Springs now, unfortunately. They went that away. Inquire about your delivery assignment with the administrator of the Mojave Express in Prim. This is the main quest, right? They went that away. Find the men who tried to go. Okay, we're going to Prim, which is show location. Good Springs. We're like there. And we need to head down here. It doesn't look too far, actually. This is New Vegas up here. Yeah, look, this is New Vegas, the city. Um, people were saying, uh, like in the comments, right? People were saying that I should uh, should not rush to New Vegas. Um, apparently, it's not even that good. So, uh, we're, we're not going to rush straight to the city. We're going we're gonna to try and, you know, just go with the flow. Whatever, wherever the game takes us, we'll, we'll head there. And we'll, you know, we'll see what there is to see, basically. I guess we're headed to Prim, um, to inquire about the guys who actually shot me. So, a quick question about this, right? How did I survive? I got shot right in the head, and I somehow survived. And, uh, you know, here I am, walking down the road. We actually finally left Good Springs. Like, we, we were actually there for, like, the whole of the last episode. And now we're actually on the road, like, towards Prim. What is this? Is that, is that gunfire? Was that like a a woodpecker? Hold up, what is that? Oh no, this is where I shot the, these um geckos, right? Yeah, look, it's the geckos. Oh, there's a bunch of geckos over here too. Oh shit! I missed. Fuck! Jesus Christ! They are really angry suckers. Um, okay, so we've got this shotgun here. What have we got bound here? Mm, that's a shotgun. What's this? Revolver. I do have a laser pistol somewhere too. Or a laser rifle or something. Did I sell that? I don't think I did. No, I got a laser pistol. Look. Oh, man. Yeah, that's kind of a cool laser pistol. I need to try this out on something, actually. Next thing we see, we're going to try to shoot it with the laser pistol. See how it looks. Oh, yeah, look. More geckos. Hey, Gekko. Oh, they're running. They're scared. My item is in poor condition and can do more damage if repaired. You can repair items in your pit boy or by visiting a vendor. To repair it yourself, you need to use parts from a similar weapon. I don't have parts. I just want to shoot some geckos. Okay, I don't care if it's, like, damaged. Oh! Jesus! Ah! Ah! Fuck me! There's more! Oh my god! There's so many fucking geckos! Oh, you son of a bitch! Get out of my face! 
Oh, he's dead. Okay, maybe the laser pistol. I'm not very good with laser weapons, am I? My guy is like, he sucks with laser weapons. I think we should probably stick to ballistics. <laughs> I don't, I don't really think we're much of a laser weapon type of guy, really. Uh, wait, can we cook this gecko here? Oh, we can. Hang on. Made at skill requirements ingredients. Wait. Gecko kebab. Gecko steak. Oh, I need a... I need level 25 in survival to be able to cook the gecko. Okay, well, we'll, we'll try and do that. Because I, I would like to... We're going to need to actually hunt, like, animals and shit. Like, once we get that... Like, so we can actually eat food, like, that's not irradiated. What the fuck? Someone's been, like, drinking a ton of stuff here. Ooh, sexy sleepwear. Who's this? Who's this son of a bitch? Who's that? It's Barton Thorn. The fuck? Who is this? The fuck? What do you want? Hello? Can you help me? What's wrong? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Where is she? Go up the path. Pass the broken radio tower and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. Okay. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. Yeah, sure thing, buddy. Pass the radio tower, huh? I think you said it's like she's up this way, like up the trail. Wait, what? Before you venture deeper into the wasteland, you may revise your character. Now we're good. We are all good. I missed. I missed. Oh. My weapon's in low condition? Really? <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. More gecko meat. Wait, what? Why can I, um... I can quick loot these ones. I couldn't do that with the other ones. Wait, what? I'm in danger? Caution? Hang on. I want to get more ammo for this revolver, actually. This is kind of a cool gun. I guess it's up this way, then, right? Oh. Oh, here they come. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh, I missed. Jesus. These things are following me big time. Fuck off. Oh. These things are horrible. Oh yeah, you run away, you little bitch. Oh shit, he's actually coming in for the fight. Oh. We need a melee weapon, man. So that we can fight them when they get up, up close like this. I mean, the shotgun's pretty good at doing it as well. Let's get this one. Oh, you son of a bitch. You sponged that one. Yeah, you didn't sponge that, did you, you bitch? Young Gecko. Ugh. This weapon is actually really low condition. Um, the varmint rifle. So I think we need to, like, find a place to, like... How do you repair a weapon, then, actually? Let me take a look here. Wait, why have we got, like... Oh, yeah, we, we took a bunch of shotguns, didn't we? Hey, this one's actually better condition. I'm going to switch to this one. Choose an item to repair with. This one. Oh, so it's like Minecraft, where you combine the two together. <laughs> okay, uh, we've got some single shotguns here. Alright, let's equip this single shotgun there, and then... We'll repair it. With that and that. There we go. Alright, they're a little bit better condition than they were. Oh, uh, looks like your girlfriend's dead, bro. She looks dead as fuck, actually. Hang on. Can we snipe him? He actually did hit him. Oh, fucking hell. Hang on. Hang on. Wait. Jesus. Oh. It... Oh, we got one of them. Oh. That's right, fuckers. You want, you want to fuck with me? You little bitch. Oh, fuck. Are you fucking... I'm out of ammo. Shit. I'm actually quite low on health. Ah! These things are so horrible. Jesus. Oh my god, I'm actually going to die to these things. Lord. Wait. Whoa! Victor! Is that Victor? The robot? Victor? You need to be oh, careful. it is! It's dangerous out here. How did you know I was in trouble? Heck, I can smell trouble a mile away. Oh, some trick without a nose. <laughs> I like you, friend. Have I mentioned that? No, I don't think you have. Uh, what do you want from me? I saved your life, so I kind of feel responsible for you is all. Oh, don't. 
I like you, friend. Have I mentioned that? Yeah, you, you have, actually. All right, goodbye, Victor. See you around, buckaroo. He actually did kind of save me again there. Jesus fucking Christ. These geckos, man. I mean, it didn't help my dynamite. It kind of bounced off the wrong way, like, to where I wanted it to go. I, I wanted it to, like, go in the middle of them all, but it sort of bounced off and only... I think it blew up two of them instead of all of them, like I wanted it to. I think there's the last of these geckos. I'm hoping. Yep. Yeah, your girlfriend's dead as fuck, dude. Is that her? Or is it one of these fuckers? Oh, yeah, look. She's wearing a dress. Ugh. What's in the fridge? Some food and some alcohol. Oh! <sighs> Fuck me. Lightweight leather armor. Okay, let's say that. Wait, is it... Uh, uh, do we, like... Have we taken limb damage here? Condition. Oh, no. Yeah, look. Our, our limbs are kind of all fucked. Let's use a doctor's bag. There we go. That should uh, fix our limbs. I th Wait, what? Whoa. What's all this? Four aces. They're all the ace of clubs. And what are these? Oh! All the skeletons just fell down the hill. Oh, that's weird. Activate. Oh, I can't. Um, Vault 13 Canteen. Alright, well, we took a few things. I don't fucking see this guy's girlfriend, though. Is there anything? I think she's dead, bro. Nah, nah, this is this is it. Like she's dead, man. Oh, sorry, I tricked you, but thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there. After oh, you I deal son with of you, a bitch. Found you. Had enough. Fuck off. Piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Run away now. Fucking son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's dead as fuck. Oh, my game is froze. My game actually froze. <laughs> Oh, look who it is. Oh. Hey, we can actually get him before he's onto us. Yeah. Yeah. Take cover. <laughs> oh, take that, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Give me all your stuff. I'm not going to head back up there because it didn't seem like the loot up there was that worth it. And that guy, like, led me on a wild goose hit chase anyways. So let's just head, like, onwards, I suppose. There's more geckos here, for fuck's sake. Uh, finished. I suppose you get like more accurate with guns the more you uh, increase like your gun skill because I, I know it's like sometimes I'm aiming like directly at them and they miss so I, I suppose there's a bit of randomness to whether you actually hit oh hang on he's right here what the fuck he sponged that nicely fuck it I hate how quickly these things move I need to bullet time them I think why does it reload twice sometimes this gun there we go well, we're still on our way to Prim, kinda. What's all this shit? Ow! Ow! Oh fuck, it was an ambush. Oh shit! Oh, Jesus. Uh, I need to heal a crippled limb. Uh, we have, we have uh, a doctor bag, cause I, there we go. Look at that, you bitches. Fuck. Nice. Victor! You need to be careful. He's here again! Dangerous out here. <laughs> Goodbye. Around, I guess he always saves you when you when like in your first encounter, like because I mean because my game crashed before, uh, I wasn't ever up on that ridge. So he came in and saved me again. Well, actually, he didn't save me that time. I actually fucked these guys up. These are powder gangers, aren't they? Yeah. Give me that dynamite, you bitch. Buff out. I think they're revolvers, actually. We should take this stuff, really. 
Powder Ganger Camp West. Ooh. Could we get some of their the juicy dynamite? Oh, fuck me. Okay. That is a... I see. Okay, they got a bunch of, like, mines and stuff. Um, they just stepped on, like, three fucking times. Steal their dynamite. Read note. The note reads, not too many patrols out here lately, which means not much loot. Our crew is thinking we should move soon. Uh, follow the tracks up north, head towards the strip. You, you you in? Ain't on the chain gang anymore, but we still gotta stick together. Okay, well, we'll find them at some point, because I really want all their dynamite. Like, their, their stash of dynamite. How much do we have now? What, 15 dynamite? And I, I did use one in that fight. I don't, I don't know if it actually hit them. I think it actually may have hit them, because one of them died really quickly. Can we disarm this shit? Oh, I did. I did it. It was a powder charge. We got powder charge. Oh, man. Okay. Is there any more? Are those powder charges down there? No, those are just cans. What is this shit anyway? This water. Ugh, that looks horrible. Some vodka. An atomic cocktail. Oh, shit. Rads. So this is west. So they've got another camp following the tracks. Is there a train? Yeah, look, there's train tracks over there. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we'll go and try and find the rest of these fuckers at some point, because I really want to. I really want to finish them off and also steal all their dynamite. What is that? Oh, it's a gecko. It just killed that rad roach. It's a young gecko hunter. What is that over there? It's a person. It's a prospector. Ugh, I don't know if I want to kill this prospector, but at the same time, I'm gonna take this rad roach meat. Hang on, let me talk to this prospector. Hey. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. She does not want to talk to me properly. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> Fuck. Jesus. Leather backpack. Oh, we need that. A backpack's pretty good. Metal armor and a metal helmet. We need a helmet. Hell yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry, but she didn't talk to me, so she was useless. <laughs> she refused to speak to me. Hey, look. Now we're wearing a stupid armor. And we've got that. The backpack is awesome, though, because that means we get extra carry weight. We now have, like, 225 pounds of carry weight, whereas before we'd have 175. Okay, that was, like, cold-blooded murder. Um, but, you know what? Uh, she didn't talk to me, so she seems like a useless character that, like, is fine for me to murder. I don't think anyone saw it, so I don't think we're, like, I don't think we're in trouble or anything, you know? Like, no one actually saw me do it. Anyways. What does this guy want? Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. NCR trooper, huh? Um, what's going on in Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Oh, yeah? Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. Is it the powder what's gangers? What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. No, I'm good. I'm, I actually want to find the powder gangers. Um, <laughs> shouldn't you be protecting the town? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Why can't you protect them? We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Lieutenant Hayes. All right, let's go talk to him. I'm, I'm all for taking out the powder gangers. If these are the powder gangers... We've discovered Prim. Okay, let's go talk to the west side, he said. Yeah, okay. So the west side of the overpass. This way? Let's go talk to Lieutenant Hayes, and uh, we'll see if we can, like, help these guys take out the powder gangers. Because it sounds like these are the shit. Caution. Why have I got caution? What's after me? Something's sniffing me out. I, I, don't know, I don't know what it is. I'm being stalked by something. Is it a death claw? I hope not. I hope I'm not getting stalked by some sort of tiny death claw that's just, like, on the floor behind me. What is that? Hey. Sergeant McGee. Hey, man, I'm Phil McTree. That's right. 
Sergeant McGee. Hey. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California oh, McGee. Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. You want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Okay, yeah, that was the plan anyways. Sir. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. Okay. What's your business? What's the New California Republic? Where do you come from that you haven't heard of the NCR? Uh, England. Never mind, it doesn't matter much. If you haven't heard of us, you must not be from the Legion. Put simply, the NCR is the greatest nation currently functioning. Alright. Why is the NCR interested in this desert? Well, it's no secret. Our interest here is twofold. First, we want to remain in control of Hoover Dam. It supplies the Republic with power and is a source of fresh water. Second, we want to prevent the Legion from advancing across the Colorado River and endangering the home states. The Legion? Caesar's Legion. A bunch of degenerate slavers led by a madman who calls himself Caesar. Every one of them is a barbarian to the last. I've even heard one of their leaders, the Legate or something, goes around with a human skull on his head. Savages to the last. And they do sound kind of, kind of savage, actually. Goodbye. Okay, so I don't think I can actually help these guys do it. I guess, like... Do I need to still go in there? Hello. Or what? Oh, hey. How's it going, Sergeant McGee? Um, inquire your delivery, the administrator of the Mojave Express in Prim. So I think we need to go in there. Um, regardless of whether there's powder gangers in there. And quite honestly, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of a beast, like... I reckon I can take these powder gangers by myself. I mean, they're all kind of, they're all kind of trash. Oh, fucking hell, they've got a bunch of ammo here. We we'll probably steal this ammo. Hang on. Fuck off, karma. I didn't steal anything. Oh shit, there's a, a lad. Oh hey. I'm not sure you should be here. I'm not sure you should be here. Oh, I'm going across the the bridge. Oh fuck. Ah. Jesus. I'm not seeing any powder gangers. Oh, there's a dead guy in front of the Mojave Express. Maybe that's uh, not the best sign in the world. <laughs> a dead guy. There is something ahead of me on the radar. Look, oh, fuck, it's coming. Move back faster. Oh shit. Oh, he's got good. He's got dynamite. He's got dynamite. Why am I not moving? Am I crippled? Hang on. Am I crippled? Is that why I'm moving so slowly? No, I'm good. Son of a bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Now, these guys. They're, like, taking my own strategy and using it against me. Oh, there's no ammo. Shit. I might actually be in trouble here. Oh, we're good. Duh. <laughs> My item's in poor condition. There we go. These sons of bitches, man. Give me a dynamite. Alright, we did kill two powder gangers here so far. So we know it is absolutely 100% them. Is that only two? I'm not seeing any anymore and it's raining suddenly. Shit. Who's this? It's Daniel... Daniel Wyand. M Mojave Express delivery order four of six. What's this? Deliver the package at the north entrance to the to the Vegas Strip by the way of Freeside. An agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint, take possession of the package, and pay for the delivery. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash at the Mojave Express agency in Prim. Bonus on completion two fifty caps. I guess this is where they all are. Is this a... Fuck, I can't vax him. It's a convict. It's not a powder gang, it's just a convict. Oh, we'll shoot him. Nonetheless. There we go. Terminal locked, easy. I can't hack it. I can't hack, I can't open the door either. You like that? Oh shit, here we go. What the fuck? Jesus! Ow! Ah! Oh. 
Oh, you wanna fucking go, bro? Hang on. Hang on! That's right, bitch. Are we good? Oh yeah, look, these guys do have the dynamite. More dynamite for me. That's what I'm all about. Fuck, I am kind of like getting a bit hurt here though. <laughs> these guys are like, kind of like rushing me with their guns. Like this guy just come, came rushing at me. He didn't even take cover. He's just like rushing at me, like firing off like a million shots. It's crazy. Oh shit, we got a bunch of lads over there. Oh shit, this is like the big room. Hang on. Man, he really throws like a bitch. Oh, that was better. That was a better throw. Come on. Oh, fuck. They're throwing it back. They are throwing back. Ooh. Shit. Oh. Both my arms are crippled. This is really not good. My armor condition is really low as well. Oh! More, more dynamite, boys. Oh shit, they're throwing, they're throwing dynamite at me. This is like kind of... Oh shit, I thought it was me that was dead there. Fucking hell, I killed one of them. They, wait, are they both dead? I think, I think we're good. Jesus fucking Christ. 20 dynamite! And we've, we threw like five of them there as well. Jesus, we're getting so much dynamite. This is perfect. This is like all I've ever wanted and more. Oh, he was a leader. Flamer fuel, huh? Oh no, he had a flamethrower. Holy shit, boys. We just got a flamethrower from this guy. Hang on. It's incinerator. How do we uh let's put it there? Oh, okay, we have to use this on the next person we find. Deputy Beagle. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. Not really, I no. my fingers, but my hands are numb. Uh, who are you? Oh, well, I'm Deputy Beagle, and I'm being held hostage. Can you imagine? I'd be most grateful if you would set me free. Uh, how did you end up being a hostage? I must say it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement. The powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. I watched them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say you can stay put for the time no being. No need to rush on my account. I lost feeling in my hands and legs hours ago. Yeah, you know what? I don't trust him. I don't trust him one bit. After that guy fucking, like backstab me when he's like oh yeah go save my girlfriend who's up the the ridge with the geckos right and then he turned around and backstabbed me i am not gonna rescue this guy until i know for sure for sure that he's good because uh fuck that right it's already enough of these suckers here that i have to deal with let alone that guy oh i can't wait to Hang on. hey I've bitch oh Oh, he just fucking burned. I think I burned a bit. Oh, I'm on fire. Jesus, no. <laughs> I thought I was a bit too close to myself there. Stimpack, quick. Okay, we're good. We're not burning anymore. Oh, come on. Oh. It doesn't quite work like any normal flamethrower that I've ever seen. Like, it doesn't seem to have, like, a, a constant stream of fire. It's more like it fires, like, fireballs. Wait, does it do that? Oh, it does. Look. I see, okay, it's not. Oh! Oh, this thing is awesome, I love it. Hang on. I'm out of ammo in the shotgun. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. I'm dead! <laughs> I'm dead! No! That's our first death! Alright, I know how the, f the, the flamethrower works now. It's not actually like your standard flamethrower, right? So it actually fires like fireballs. Oh shit, I set myself on fire. I was trying to avoid doing that. Oh, I love that! They just explode! 
This is so good. <laughs> oh shit, dynamite. Oh shit, dynamite. I'm dead. Oh fuck. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> These are the dynamite throwing ones. No! Fuck! Hey. <laughs> I should probably use a stim pack, right? Oh, oh fuck. Oof. Hang on, let me stim pack up. Can you, um. Can you, like, bind a stim pack to a key? So I don't have to go into my pit boy every time I want to use it? Oh, fuck, man. Fuck off! You son of a bitch! Oh, I killed him. I'm really hurt, though. Oh, we, de we actually did it here as well, but I'm really fucked. Oh, I leveled up. Fuck. <laughs> We leveled up. Um, okay, first we need 25 of this so we can cook some, some food. And then I think I'm going to upgrade my repair a little bit. Uh, did we get a skill? Or no? Oh, I don't have anything to repair this stuff with, unfortunately. I might actually switch it out then and switch to one of these ones. It's not quite as good as this one, but this one's like nearly dead anyways. Wait, this is actually better. The leather armor is actually better. I'm just gonna wear my leather armor then, I suppose. We're wearing a trooper helmet, which looks kind of ridiculous if you ask me. I prefer my fucking cowboy hat, actually. I'm just gonna wear my cowboy hat. <laughs> there we go. We're back to our back to our usual stuff. We got a backpack, anyways. I'm gonna head back downstairs then. I think we're gonna head downstairs. And we're gonna try and find that guy um, that I sort of left behind before, the one who was like apparently a hostage. I thought he was like maybe a powder ganger in disguise. Hey, man. It would be so very delightful if you set me free. Have you just been like kneeling here the whole time? <laughs> he's just hearing all of this like gunfire and everything upstairs, and he's just kneeling there, like, "Come on, you son of a bitch!" All right, fine, I'll set you free. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. It's probably like I was setting stuff on fire up there. I don't really want to say any of these. I didn't cut you loose so you could run away. Stick with me. Sure, run away. You don't look like you'd be much help. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms. And see you outside. Okay. Do that. I mean, I was heading outside anyway, so, um, I mean, they're all dead. Dude, like, I, I literally, I killed them all. So, you'd have to, like, sneak around like a piece of shit like that. Come on. Y you're literally walking like a fucking crab. Is he shit himself? Maybe that's why he's walking like that. Hey. Oh! What was that? Sunset Sarasa Parilla Star Bottle Cap. Wow, that was like glowing and shit. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I don't know what those are. Okay, well, I'm still following you, Deputy Beagle, mate. Um, Please excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Beagle, look. You see they're all dead? Well... That was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. I mean, you literally- The problem is, there's still no law in print. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Us? What? I did everything. He, you were just, like, fucking captured the whole time. He literally didn't kill a single convict. I killed all of them. And he's saying that I'm gonna get captured next time. What are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. Um. I will help bring law and order back to Prim. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Okay. Beagle wants a new sheriff for Prim. He suggested an ex-sheriff and the NCR guy across the thing. Okay, let's go 
talk to the NCR guy then, I suppose. Prim is in dire need of some real law. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. What do you need to take over protecting the town? What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Okay. Sir. Cool. Well, um, okay, I guess what we'll, we'll I guess we'll finish here uh, for this episode. We've um, we've came to Prim and uh, we killed like all the powder gangers here. Um, they don't even acknowledge that I did that, uh, but. We did kill all of the, the powder gangers, and we now have 33 dynamite uh, from that. And also a bunch of, like, extra stuff, I suppose. Uh, what else do we actually have? We've got a bunch of, like, armors and stuff. We also have, like, a few few extra weapons and stuff as well here. So, uh, all in all, not too bad, um, to be honest. It is really stormy right now. Holy shit. Right, so I guess next episode, um, I mean... We haven't inquired. I mean, we haven't even done the uh, the inquiry, have we? Hang on, our quest. No, we we still have. We have to find. We have to. Okay, I guess we. I guess there is still actually people in Prim because maybe in that building there. The we haven't checked that big building right there. All right, well we'll do that next time. And we've we've cleared out Prim. Um, we also have got a quest where we can go and get a new squad uh, of the NCR, the New California Republic. We can get them to come and they can take control of the town. Uh, which might be quite good. Maybe we can get good favor with the New California Republic. I mean, they seem like kind of swell dudes. So, uh, you know, maybe we'll do that. Who knows? Uh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, we also died like a uh, hundred times this episode. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.